Is it acceptable to blend paganism with Christianity? Is Christmas for Christians part one? In these videos you'll find a culmination of historic as well as scriptural facts exposing the truth about the celebration of Christmas. In his book, Too Long in the Sun, Richard Rives draws an appropriate parallel to the circumstances in Exodus 32, a biblical precedent which provoked God nearly to the point of destroying the nation of Israel for their sin of blending pagan worship with his own. The golden calf was built and the celebration declared a feast to the Lord. The people had declared a celebration to honor God that he did not recognize as being in his honor. Hathor and Aphis, the cow and bull gods of Egypt, were representatives of sun worship. Their worship was just one stage in a long Egyptian history of solar veneration. The golden calf at Mount Sinai is more than sufficient evidence to prove that the feast proclaimed was related to sun worship. The event at Mount Sinai was just one episode in a satanic apostasy which began at the Tower of Babel. The celebration of December 25th, originally proclaimed in honor and birth of the sun god Mirthra, can only be one of the final events in a long continuous saga of satanic sun worship. Therefore shall you keep mine ordinance that ye commit not any one of these abominable customs which were committed before you, and that ye defile not yourselves therein. I am the Lord your God. Leviticus 18 verse 30. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. No man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment, else the new piece that filled it up taketh away from the old, and the rent is made worse. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled, and the bottles will be marred. But new wine must be put into new bottles. Mark 2, verses 21 to 22. And abstain from all appearance of evil. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 22. May God bless.